Hi, my name is Ben Burris. I'm from Chabot Space and Science Center, and I'm here today with uh, UC Berkeley's Center for Science Education here at Rosa Parks Elementary School. Rosa Parks Elementary School is an environmental science magnet school and part of the PG&E Solar Schools program. The point of today's presentation is to show the students the wonder and the beauty of the sun, things they may never have seen before, but also tell them about the dangers in doing so and how to do it safely. Maybe I could look at the sun with these. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Really, with sunglasses I can look at the sun safely? Ah, oh. uh, the nose have it. So what are sunglasses for? Okay, sunglasses protect our eyes from all the light that bounces around, reflects off of clouds and trees and sky. And also, there's a type of light coming from the sun, and it's, I'll give you a hint, it's the type of light that gives you sunburn. It's called ultraviolet light. It's because sunglasses protect our eyes from ultraviolet light. And we can also protect ourselves with a nice big wide-brimmed hat to create some shade for your head, okay? So yeah, we use sunscreen, we'll put that on. It blocks the ultraviolet light. It's like putting on an extra layer of skin. I have something special here. In this box, totally in the dark right now, are a bunch of little white beads. Now these are special beads. They're special because when ultraviolet light shines on them, they do something. They change color, yeah. Okay, watch. Woo! You can definitely see them get darker, but they were white to begin with. I want to get back to the sun itself. Okay, how can we look at the sun without hurting ourselves. Telescopes. telescopes? You think you could use a telescope? Wow. I have a little demonstration for you you might like. A telescope collects light a lot like this lens does. This is a lens. This is a grape. But for a minute, I want you to imagine this is your eyeball. If that is your eyeball, then this is your eyeball if you look at the sun through a regular telescope. So tell me. Is it safe to look at the sun through a telescope? There are several ways to look at the sun safely. One way is to use a special filter. It's called uh, welder's goggle number 14. Looks like a little light bulb, okay. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Uh, you can also project images of the sun safely. Okay, what actually happens in here? The light comes in through the big lens. There are mirrors in here that the light bounces around. There's a mirror at every corner of the triangle, and it bounces, 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 and bounces down through the eyepiece. And then we just let the light shine down on this piece of paper, and we'll have an image of the sun. The telescope has been around for 400 years. And back when it was first made, a man named Galileo, he heard about the invention of the telescope, and then he quickly made his own. And he was one of the first people to actually point it at things in the sky. He looked at the moon, he looked at Jupiter, he looked at Saturn, he looked at Venus. He also looked at the sun in much the same way we're doing right now. He didn't look right through the telescope. He didn't put his eye to the eyepiece. He let the light shine out onto a piece of paper, and he saw a picture of the sun, pretty much like what you're seeing here. It's what do you see? Moving, but... Do you see it moving? You can look at the sun with a piece of paper that has a hole in the middle. I'm going to show you how. What do you see? Is yeah, a little spot of light, isn't it? Well, actually, that spot of light is an image of the sun. If you take a hole in paper and let light shine through it, and let that light fall onto a piece of paper on the other side, you can make an image. This is called a pinhole camera. Now what do you notice when I have it here? It's pretty small and bright, right? What happens to it when I move it up like this? It gets bigger. It gets bigger? And maybe is it not as bright as it was? Well, let me show you something. I have a cool little gadget I put together here. It's basically just this a piece of paper with a hole in it, you see that? But in this case, I put a mirror behind it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect it down into that box. The box we put there because if you put your head inside the box, it's nice and dark in there. The farther away we project the spot of light, the larger it will get, but it will also get fainter. So we're going to put it inside the box. We have some telescopes over here that have special filters on them that make it safe to look through these telescopes at the sun. Through this kind of telescope, you might see something like this on a day where there are sunspots. The smallest of those dots you see here is about the size of the Earth. Sometimes you might see a dark streak. Those are called filaments. And they're basically clouds of gas in the Earth's, uh, the sun's atmosphere. You might see bright areas. The bright areas are called plage. Off the side of the sun, against the darkness of space, you might see 
a brighter cloud. That is called a prominence. The sun's about the most important thing in the universe to us because uh, from the sun all energy for life on Earth comes. Among the astronomical objects, it's one of the few things in the sky that you can actually see changes in. So you can watch things change on the sun in just minutes time, which is very unlike anything else you can see up there. Uh, when Galileo first used a telescope to look at the sun, um, we've gone from a small telescope up to telescopes that we put into space and uh, giant telescopes that look just at the sun. 